Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Throughs. This is FTL. This is going to be my third try trying to use the stealth ship. I am really not quite sure how it is supposed to work, how you're supposed to keep it alive when you cannot actually take a hit successfully, but because it, you have a 15% chance, it comes with special equipment that gives you a 15% chance of negating system damage. For one thing, 15% is not a lot. For another, it comes in with no shields. I have no idea what you're supposed to do with that. I have no idea how you're supposed to keep from taking damage long enough to actually do anything. Um, we'll send an away party. Got some scrap. What would it cost me to get two points of... You can't get shields for this. Okay. This is not going to work, but I'll stick with it anyway. There's the quest marker. Let's see what we get. Okay, let's pause. Power up the weapons. Put two points into engines. Power on the cloak. At least this thing does not have... There we go. Okay. Engines next. And across. Okay, this is the first time I have actually won a battle in this thing. Because the enemy ship was not really manned and did not have any shields. That's the only reason that I actually won the battle. So, let's see. Let's reinforce the doors, because I really don't want to be boarded. Power up the cloak. By one bar of power. I now have ten seconds of cloaking. We'll see how that does for me. Halting enemy weapon charging, increasing evasion by 60. Okay, so... So I've got to be... I've just got to time everything very, very carefully is what it seems to come down to. No, there's no point to fighting him, so... We'll... Jump to the store and then get a move on towards the, uh... Next sector. Um... Got fuel, got missiles... Would love to afford that, can't... So... For now, we will stay as we are. I need to start plot... I haven't paid enough attention. I need to, uh... Plot the course to the exit. Okay, well, combat through here. Okay. Now, power up the weapons. Dual lasers have to go first. And then mini-beam, because mini-beam is, of course, impeded by shields. Okay, this is how the cloak works, basically. Their weapons are, uh, are down, and they're on fire. This is looking more like what I wanted uh, this to be like. Okay, we'll fire that again. Dang, didn't get that in time. But we'll concentrate fire on their engines. Okay. Let's cl no, their weapons are almost charged, and mine are charged, so... There we go. Okay, getting the hang of it. Took me two tries, and end ended up with advanced FTL navigation, which I may or may not sell. I'm not sure yet. But, for one thing, let's buy an extra power bar so I can fill out our engine, because that should give quite a bit of evasion at this point. And... Yeah, so... Distress signal, we'll hit that, and then we'll head towards the exit. Because I really don't want to deal with any rebel cruisers before I'm ready. 
Um, hmm. I have a feeling docking is bad, but I'll try it. No, I... Okay, well, now I've got a rock man who will, I think, mind the cloak. And at least next time the ship catches fire, which it will as soon as someone actually gets a jump on me, it will allow me to uh, put the fire out without, you know, dying. So, okay, cloak on. Dual lasers target the, uh, their weapon systems. Once the once the uh, weapon systems are damaged, we'll go after helm control. Didn't get it fired quite quick enough. So now we're going to take some hits. Hopefully not bad ones. Ah, thank you for being a bad shot. Now their weapons are down, and so is their helm control, which means my next shot will hit, so shields, I think, are next. No weapons are next. Gotcha. Okay. So, yeah, I'm, I'm getting the hang of this. It took me long enough, but th I, I had, like, two or three tries on this that I, before I started... Well, not before I started recording. I was recording. It's just those recordings have already been deleted. So... Okay, well, you've got a cloak and we've got a cloak, so... Neither of us can charge our weapons, but our cloak is better than yours. And you're about to explode. Yeah, like I said, just finally getting the knack of this... Contact the civilian ship, welcome aboard, and um, the Mantis. First off, let's close that door. I accidentally opened when I started. We'll leave the Mantis on, uh, on oxygen. I mean, maybe it has health problems, you don't know. But, yeah, so a lot of pausing to get this right to time things. Okay, cloak on. But basically, the big, big advantage of the cloaking device is that it gives you an opportunity to charge your weapons before before they are ready for you. There we go. Okay, so... Yeah. It's something I'm going to have to mind very carefully, but... Hmm. I'm gonna... I'm gonna do that eventually. But for now, I'm actually just gonna hold on to the... Uh, on to the uh, scrap. Because I... I can only have one more weapon. Um... No, really don't need drone parts yet, but thank you. Well, it's an uncharted nebula either way, but I can do a nice long stretch of friendly sectors if I go through this uncharted nebula. And actually, assuming the nebula does not negate my cloak, I could have I could have a serious edge in the ion storms. Hmm. 150 for shields. Um, advanced FTL navigation only worth 30. Blast it. But at least shields are for sale, because I really want those. I mean, I'm getting the knack of the thing and all that, but I want those. So, yeah. So we're going to save up... Okay, another store. I don't think you're going to be any cheaper if you have shields than the first store, but... Um, no, but, hmm, that's a temptation, too. 
But no, I think the first thing I really need is shields. So that's going to be what we go for. Um, hmm. I'm going to be really stupid and fight in a nebula. Oh, cloak to stay hidden. Okay, well, so I can avoid combat in nebula if I really want to. Yeah, I should be able to zip up through there, so... That's good to know. Okay. Yeah, not going to the Ion Storm. I do not need my power halved. Um... Purchase an unknown weapon. Um... Ignore. No point in starting fights with people who don't really deserve it, so let's move on. Um, yeah, we'll track them. Okay, so now I have another Mantis. I'm not complaining, I'm going to put that one, since almost everybody likes to attack the engine room first. Of course, I think it may depend on ship layout, but still, more people on that end of the ship just in case, not a bad thing. So, you know, at least, at least I've got a decent sized crew. Once I can afford some shields, which, yeah, we'll access the space. Nothing useful. Can I blow it up now? Aw. But yeah, so, once I have shields, I think I'll be doing pretty well. I'm just going to bounce back and forth between sectors here and then go to the exit, because I'd like to get something out of this, because... This is a really dull sector! Which I should be thankful for, but I really need more scrap. Um... Try to track them as you move to engage. Um, okay, well... Pause. Cloak time. Okay. Weapons first, and then when the mini beam is ready. Okay, their weapons are down. Good start. Good start. Weapons are now long, no longer down. Didn't time that right, so now I'm going to take a hit. Hopefully, not a bad one. No, just weapons. That's all. Well, Mr. Mantis. You get to go help fix... Oh, wow, a lot of mantises aboard my ship now. Let's go cloaked while we repair our weaponry. Let's... At least I can escape when I need to. Okay, weapons powered up. Dual lasers target their weapons. And they fire again. Door control. You're up, Jones. Hang on, let me wait and coordinate. Okay. One. Two. I've got to give time for the first one to fire because the first because the dual lasers there's a slight delay in targeting or in the hit landing. Dang. Yeah, see this is the problem with combat with the cloaking device. So that now, this. Yeah. Okay, trying to power up their FTL. Cloaking not going to help us right now. Um, their weapons are back online. Also not helpful, but... I need to have both weapons charged before I do anything. Fire. Fire. Okay, their weapon, their engines are damaged, but not down, and they're gone. Damn it. Okay. Well, but Jones got everything repaired. Nellis. Nellis, our weapons officer, needs to go to sickbay. Pull the mantises out to oxygen control and next door. Let's put t -like here, like in the center of the ship, so he can go either way if he needs to. And 
Nellis is ready to go. Okay. This is not working perfectly, but we're alive. We're also almost out of fuel. Jolly good. Okay. Okay, jump. No fuel. We'll have to wait. Do we get... No one arrives at the beacon. They're usually nicer about this. We'll explore the nearby area. Okay, cloak on. This one has no shield, so we can fire at our leisure. To good effect. This will at least get us the fuel we need, probably. Anytime now. There we go. So... Yep, for fuel. Let us get the hell out of here. Civilian sector. Gonna need to make some repairs and buy fuel. It's still gonna be a while yet before I can... Mm, let's pick the fight. It's still gonna be a while until I can buy shields, but I need them. Um, attack the slaver scum. This is my usual response to everything, so... Now. There we go. I should have dragged that uh, more effectively. I could have gotten it across oxygen control, too, if I had. Okay, so now... Keep the pressure on weapons control. Um, no. Hell with slavers. Okay. Wait for it. Okay, we took a couple of hits, but we're alive. Which is more than they will be able to say very shortly. Dang. Should have coordinated. My fault. But they're dead, so... And we're not. Mm. Plenty of scrap, so when we find a shop, we'll be good. Nellis can... Go to sick bay for a moment. Power up the dual lasers again. I'm thinking I'll want burst lasers of some sort for my last weapon. 